Good morning. What's worse than individual self-deception? We're in Jeremiah chapter 2. We're reading verses 18 and 19. And now why take the road to Egypt to drink the waters of Sihor? Or why take the road to Assyria to drink the waters of the river? Your own wickedness will correct you, and your backslidings will rebuke you. Know therefore and see that it is an evil and bitter thing that you have forsaken the Lord your God, and the fear of me is not in you, says the Lord God of hosts. The nation is blindly marching into disaster, all self-deceived that, you know, hey, we're on God's side. They're trusting in human lies and yet following a path that's going to lead them into captivity. Instead of God's waters, they're slaking their thirst with the soda pop of Egypt. Oh, Egypt's going to be our helper now. No, it's not. And God tells them, your own wickedness is going to correct you. You know, this is going to work itself out just exactly the way that I've sort of told you ahead of time. This is the way it's going to work itself out. He's going to let them carry out their own plans and learn what the result is. And, you know, many times God works that way with us. He lets us carry out our experiments. And even though he warns us, you know, that's, that's going to be disastrous. Please don't do that. And then we do it. And then we learn, hey, God was right. Now, this is a nation, Judah at this time, they think they're following God. They, they, they think their cleverness has gotten them their wealth and a, a space among the nations, you know, and now we're playing with the big guys here. No, it's, it's going to be disastrous. It's not their cleverness. You know what? We are never more clever than God. And I'll tell you another thing. We're never more clever than Satan. You're, we're just, that's not, those are out of our league. We need to be uh, letting God be our leader. What has actually happened is that the people have left off from trusting in God. They don't really trust him. They're trusting in their riches and their alliances. And that's going to end, of course, as we said. There's never a time when we win by allying ourselves with others who are not submitted to God. Think about it. How many times has there been a, a denomination, a Christian denomination, and it begins to decline? It goes away from the, the things that it was strong and biblical about at the beginning. It begins to decline rapidly, and everybody's really nervous. Well, guess what? Across the street, there's another denomination, and they're, they have exactly the same situation. They're declining. What do they do? They, they combine together into one church, and so now they're one body, so to speak, and yet now they have less doctrinal unity than before because this, this group has this group of understandings, this group has this group of understandings, and now they continue to decline, perhaps even more rapidly, although they've, they've watered themselves down. And, and that's how many times have we seen that happen? It just continues to happen. What we need to do is always go back to the first principles, go back to the, the things that are clear in the Bible, the things that God has shown us and that are absolutely clear, and God will get us through. But we go back to him. We don't go to Egypt. We don't go to Babylon University. Uh, we don't, don't go to the seculars. What we need to do is go to the word of God and go with a submitted heart. So God will be with us if we return to him. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to combine not with Egypt, not with the world. Help us to combine not with Babylon, not with false religion. But Lord, we need to return to you. You are our maker. You are our redeemer. You are our deliverer. So Help us to find the pathway to return to you, and you will bring everything into order. Uh, please, Lord, have mercy upon us. We've been foolish and silly and ridiculous, and uh, there's been a terrible price to pay. But be with, your, be with true believers and bring us closer to you now. We ask for this help, Lord, because you're the only one we can turn to. So help us to take a lesson here, and we thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. So what's worse than individual self-deception? Well, it's the story we're looking at. It's mass self-deception. That's what's worse. But you know what? We need to be faithful individually. Even if you're part of a group of people who is uh, filled with confusion, if you are personally faithful, God will bless that. And he'll be with you in all whatever you're facing and show you the pathway to go forward. God be with you today as you go out into this day. Let's not feel depressed by the... Uh, uh, what's happening with, with Judah and Benjamin, the southern kingdom here. God is, God is on his throne, and God is still on his throne today. God be with you.